What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another Enshrouded episode. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Lulu. We do survival content here and change our weapon really, really, really quickly. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we are playing Enshrouded again, and um, I'm actually recording this episode almost an hour after the last episode, actually. Uh, so these are both in the same one because it only took me about 35 minutes of gameplay to actually do the spire so i figured you know what i'm gonna record another episode i've got time it's only 11 30 at night it's okay <laughs> but anyways all right so um today um i'm not entirely sure what i want to do with this one so i was on the fence i kind of i really wanted to go and do the farm to get the farmer but i don't know if we can get there easily i think maybe we can it doesn't look like it's that far from the ancient spire so let me check the journal do we actually have a quest to get the farmer we have a quest specifically for the hunter and for the alchemist but we don't have one for the farmer i kind of just want to go up there anyways <laughs> and see if we can get her, I, I kind of do. You know what? We set our own path in this world, right? All right, let's go get our rested buff. Back up real quick. Drink our water, eat our food. There we go. Make sure we save our five fireballs for a boss. <laughs> All right, our comfort buff is up. No, oh, sorry about that. Apparently I'm getting tired. Whew, who would have thunk it? 11.30 at night and I'm tired. Get to real quick. All right, so let's glide our happy little butts over this way. Interesting. Interesting. So it's here. Hidden tomb entrance. So this is the quest that we found for that journal mission. Um, Which one was it? Was it this one? No. Search the hidden tomb. This one right here. Can I, uh, F? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Nope, no buzz. Okay, no buzz. I hear spookies. Spiders? There's a door next to me. Hello, door. Hello, chest. Ha <laughs> ha! I shall seal myself in. A uh, potion and some arrows. My wife would hate this place. Oh, my shield didn't go up. Caught him in midair. Oh, I think I got poisoned. Okay. Is this a chair or a chest? Or just a random rock in the middle of the floor? Could be both. Yeah, this is definitely a catacombs. Oh, 
Awesome. Got rid of that spider. Ooh, there's a chest over there. What is that? Is that shroud? Oh, open says me. Bone blocks. Ooh, we learned how to make bone blocks. Interesting. For uh, for those people that want to build catacombs below their base, because I'm assuming that's what these are right here. Nice try. Did he actually get me? He did. Um, I th think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. Wow, that was, uh, this was very easy. Well, we learned how to make bone blocks, guys. I'm doing this uh, hidden tomb mi mission. Aha, I took your twigs. I'm so dangerous. <laughs> All right, so we have to keep going. There's actually an elixir well there and there, but I, again, I, I want to go. I wonder if that's it right there. Is that it? Yeah, that tower over there must be the, the farmer. Oh man, we are far. That's a lot farther than I thought it was. I don't care. Somebody's probably going, don't do it. I found a flame shrine. Thank you. Did I get it? I got a spark. I got a spark. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Watch there be like level 10s over here or something crazy and I'm walking into a trap. I don't want to see what level these guys are. What level are you, buddy? Oh god, they're level 7s. <laughs> we are out of here, Johnny. <laughs> no. Your mother was a reaper. I don't think I'm supposed to be here, guys. But I want that farmer. Watch, I get all the way there and they won't even let me unlock her. Or wait, maybe it's not that tower. Where's the tower at? Wait, where'd the tower go? Hmm. Eh. Oh, sap tree. Sorry, we gotta stop and farm the sap tree. One and two. So four? Not bad. I'll take it. The most I've ever gotten is six. So is this it? This has got to be it. Yep. So this is the farmer. Uh. Can't do that. Go around. Yep. Yep, Lulu, there are stairs. Just go around. I don't see anyone or anything. Bye, bye. Ancient vault farmer. Whoa. Lava.
So do I have to complete this tower to get the farmer? Uh-oh. I think the farmer's right there. I think I have to figure the tower out. Can I grapple? Thank you. Hmm. Uh oh, there's like electricity. Ow. Interesting. Okay. Um, can't grapple over to that from here. Oh, hello. Figured it out. <laughs> I should have looked up. <laughs> should have been that simple. Push this button. Okay. I'm over here. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. Okay, we'll go this way, climb up this mesh. All right. I think I'm supposed to drop down there, but let's take a quick look. Nope, maybe I'm supposed to go in here. I, st I, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> That's why I even jumped. I knew I passed this up. Let me do this. In here. Oh, hit this switch. Go this way. There's a door there. Oh, the door's open. All right, sweet. Open this, open this chest. Get the, another fire wand, except a better one. Ooh, a better fire wand. Oh, hello, I found a sheet. Yeah, I saw that when it was still bright. And then jump down here and Voila! We have a Zephama! Before we go and open this door, let me check if any of these have... There might be something up there. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Let's go up here real quick. I don't see... Like, they all look like they could have a door, but there's usually a slight difference in them. Alright, let's get the farmer. Wakey, wakey. Popcorn. We got the farmer. Yay! 
Farmer acquired. New location charted. Shrub ceilings plus six more at seeds. Seed bed. Let's see. Is that it? Well, we went way out of the way for this. But it was worth it because we got the farmer. Awesome. Woo! Is it supposed to be like the northern light or something? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's north. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, was that the tower we activated for fast travel? Oh, cool. It's like all glowy now. All right. Let's teleport home. So we can play with the farmer real quick. Like, screw the mission. I want the farmer. <laughs> it's like, go get the alchemist and the hunter. But I want the farmer because I want to farm. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. And um, let's see here. We've got some books to put away. Let's put away the books. All right, we could just do that. Actually, hold up. Uh, spark. Put the spark in there. We've got more spells. We have a new wand. It's the exact same wand we have already, but it's way better. And we're going to upgrade it. So let's scavenge that. Grab these. Let's go talk to our guy here. Go to enhancement. So we've got the crackle wand. So plus plus eight to fire and then plus four to ice magic protection. Wow, that was expensive to upgrade. 25 damage. It's a level 10 mid-range weapon. We have plus 10 extra damage to fire and six plus two magic resistance to ice. That is amazing. And we just blew through all of our runes. But we got a really powerful uh, wand now, which is really nice. And then we also now have nine ice bolts. We have five fireballs, six healing spells, two giant mana potions. Whew. Holy smokes. Um, and we also have one regular mana potion, which I'm actually going to swap those real quick. And then um, <clears throat> we need to put away the rest of the stuff. And then that's it. Cool. And then we have some wax. Where did I have the wax at? Oh, I had the wax in here. Interesting. Why is the wax in the food box? Wax is a resource item, not a food item. There you go. Put you in there. Perfect. And then we'll put the arrows down here with the rest of the arrows. There. All cleaned up. Well, minus these blocks. Let's put those there. And then we need to grab our summoning wand. And then can I switch to the farmer? Oh. Yay! We got the farmer! All right, let's go. Alive again. What a gift. I weep for the old world, but perhaps you and I can plant the seeds of a new one. We've got to try, all right? I mean, if you want to start planting seeds... We can plant some seeds. <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> All right. So, crafting. Uh, the world opened up. Uh, you've done a flame bomb. You've healed. Our world is vast. Trust me. I've been a twin. It's some spites. Ancient spires. The reef, reef wood. Um, it will open up our world more. Blah, 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 blah. All right. New location. The reef wood's probably crafting. Okay. So, we have popcorns. We need corn and honey. 
Uh, we need to place a fireplace, which we probably just learned how to make a fireplace. Um, seed bed. So we know how to make a seed bed and farm soil. So we need dirt and bone mill for farm soil. We need farm soil, metal shards, and wooden logs to make a seed bed. And seed beds are not farm land. They are just like a furniture piece. All right, and then she can also do enhancements. It looks like she also has the access to the same thing over here. And my backpack. Cool. Wait, what does that say? It said something. Oh, I don't know what it said. It said something. Awesome. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see if he has anything new. Nope, nothing new here. Check here. Oh, we got the bone block now that requires 10 bone. And then nothing new there. Nothing new there. Let's go to the smithy. The smithy recipes, still only that. So we didn't unlock anything. Well, that's just disappointing. <laughs> other than, other than you know, the actual farming stuff. All right. Well, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also join my Discord to hang out with us as well for more fun with other games, as well as if we have any community servers up and running. Um, unfortunately, we aren't going to be doing a community server for Enshrouded right now until they add um, player base progression and difficulty mode. Once they add difficulty sliders and player base progression, that's when we're going to uh, turn on our server for Enshrouded. Because we want everybody to be able to have their own progression, but we also want the challenge to be difficult. Because in my community, um, I like challenging difficulty modes and most of the people that have joined my community lately also enjoy challenging difficulty modes so that's what we do so other than that guys peace out take care and i'll see you guys in the next one bye, -bye.